At the top of the editor in VS Code, you find the breadcrumbs. Now, by default, the breadcrumbs display both the current symbol location in the file, so in this case, my cursor is inside the command manager class here and then inside the dispose method, and then they also display the entire file path to the current file location. So here, relative to my workspace, here's all the directories leading up to my current file um, right before the symbol and information over here. Now, we can use the breadcrumbs file path setting to actually control how this file path is displayed or hide it entirely. So let's go take a look at that. So I'm going to open the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and say breadcrumbs file. And we want the breadcrumbs file path setting. You can see that the default is on. So let's go and you can see so that the, uh, another option here is to just turn off the file path completely. So if we set this to off, then if we switch back to the file here, you can see that only the symbol information is now being displayed for this current file. So that's pretty simple. But there's one last option for this setting as well, which is last. And what last will do is it will only show the file part or the file name and hide all of the directories leading up to that file. Now this is useful because you can actually interact with the breadcrumbs. So in this case, I could click on the file name here and then switch between all of the files in this folder. So if I wanted to, I could just switch to code actions over here, just switching between files in the current folder. But I've hidden the entire file path so you can have more space to focus on the symbol information instead. So that's a quick look at the breadcrumbs file path setting. If you find that you don't interact with the file path or that it's taking up too much space, you may want to consider setting it to off or last.